guys, it's Lita. I know it's been a while, sorry about that. And once again, this is different, not a surprise. I wanted to make kind of a serious video partially because I've seen a lot of really rude comments. Not, not like to me, here's a cat. <laughs> uh, just in general, like looking through my explore page on Instagram or uh, on Twitter. I know I've made videos like this before and frankly, I know that me making a video like this isn't gonna change everyone's mind about you know, what they say, but it's worth a shot. People have a lot going on internally and subconsciously that they don't even know how to explain, um, or they just don't feel comfortable sharing their insecurities and their fears or whatever's upsetting them. So say, for example, I recently saw a comment slash posts about YouTubers slash people on the internet not caring about their followers or anything um, other than the money. These weren't just like discussions, it was like straight up comment fights um, on people's pictures. And I mean, I know that's a really common thing, particularly on Instagram and stuff. I mean, it happens on my pictures all the time about the most random crap, and it doesn't make any sense to me. And I actually hate it because it's like, I feel partially responsible for anyone who gets hurt. Also, the sun just went up behind the clouds. So there are all these personal attacks, like directly to people. You. You, you don't know the full situation. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Maybe they don't feel comfortable saying exactly um, how upset they are by it. Maybe you spend like five minutes or half an hour, maybe two or, two or three hours arguing about something um, that, that is happening in somebody else's life. And then just forget about it. Like a, a week later, maybe you don't even remember that you ever typed any of that or you just don't care. However, the person receiving the comments that you were targeting will. <laughs> Maybe they don't check their comments, fine, but there are people who do. It doesn't matter how many followers you have, if you do this to anybody, they're gonna remember it. <laughs> and a lot of the time, people like subconsciously don't even know how to uh, explain themselves. Sometimes people do things without even knowing why they do it, and I know that you guys all know that because you are all people. Maybe there's two or three cats or dogs watching. Hey. When you go and attack someone for something that they did or said or the way that they are or like habits they have, um, whether it's intentional or unintentional or conscious or subconscious, it is probably going to affect them a lot more than you realize. So, so what's the point though? What is the point of leaving like really, really horrible comments on people's pictures or on their YouTube videos? YouTube, I, I don't even like go to the homepage anymore because it gives me so much anxiety. And I know there's people out there who, who just take joy from seeing others suffer. And I have a good message for you. Fuck you. Otherwise, some people, like I've, I've seen people that are like anti-bullying, um, advocates and then they go and leave comments like that on people's pictures um, and it's like <laughs> what are you doing that's completely contradictory for what you stand for you don't know if you're hitting a nerve be really careful because people's minds aren't the most stable I mean some people can deal with it better true they can deal with um, being attacked online or in person however just because some people can doesn't mean everyone can. Yes, maybe you might not care. However, that person does. So, shh, please. I know that sometimes people offend others by accident. Um, and that's like, that's justifiable because accidents do happen when it comes to um, offending other people. If you're deliberately going out to, you know, attack somebody, um, Remember that people online are not characters. They're people. They have grown up, gone through so many years in their own life, and had countless different experiences that affect them in a different way than you. I, I honestly do think that people forget that a lot. I really don't get the joy in going out of your way to make fun of someone or going out of your way to tell someone something rude. 
Like, why? Why would you do that? And if you're if you're someone that's like gonna gonna go in the comment section and type like, oh, it's a free country or oh, freedom of speech. <laughs> Well, um, you're just gonna sound like a dick because that is like the most overused excuse for being an asshole. <laughs> and even people this week, because I've been having some some problems with uh, talking to cameras for the past like couple of months, as you probably noticed. And you know, people were commenting on my pictures like I call bullshit. Like, why? Why? Why, if someone says something, is it automatically? If it goes against what you thought, why is it suddenly un invalid? Like, do you realize that you are arguing with someone about their own thoughts and feelings? Like, you're you are trying to tell some another person what's going on in their head. So anyway, that's like the general idea that I wanted to get across. Mosquito. <laughs> People are really fragile, so please metaphorically hold others as if you would hold a newborn kitten. Caress them. Alright guys, so um, I hope that you have an amazing day and please remember to smile. Alright, I will see you guys later. I love you so much, okay? Bye!